morning. Today we are going to learn about pollination and fertilization in plants. Observe carefully what happening here. In Datura plant, flower converted into fruit. What are the processes occur behind the formation of fruits from flowers? Pollination and fertilization. It occurs not only in Datura plants, but also occurs in all flowering plants. First we have to know about what is meant by pollination. Pollination is the process of transferring pollen grains from anther to stigma. Anther, pollen grains and stigma all are present in the flower. Now we are going to see these parts by making longitudinal section of a flower. These are the anthers. Pollen grains are produced in the anther. Observe here. These granule like structures are pollen grains. These are male gametes of the flower. Observe here, this is stigma. During pollination, pollen grains are fall down on the stigma. Observe here, pollen grains are transferring from anther to stigma. This is the process of pollination. Here, Pollen grains reaches the stigma of the same flower. This type of pollination is called self-pollination. Usually it occurs in tea plants. Here, pollen grains are transferring from anther to stigma of another flower. This type of pollination is said to be cross-pollination. Cross-pollination occurs in most of the flowering plants. It is easy to occur self-pollination. Why? Because pollen grains and stigma are present in the same flower. But what about cross-pollination? How pollen grains transfer from one flower to another flower? This occurs due to either air or insects or birds etc. Now we are going to see the cross-pollination in tocoma plants through honeybees. When honeybee enters into a flower for collecting nectar, pollen grains stick to the pods of honeybee. If these honeybee enters into another flower, then the sticked pollen grains reach the stigma of that flower. Likewise, cross-pollination occurs through insects. Observe here, butterflies also help in cross-pollination. Up to here, we learnt about pollination. Next, we are going to learn about fertilization. Fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization. Already we saw male gametes that is pollen grains. 
Now we are going to see the female gametes. Female gametes are present in the pistil of the flower. Observe here. This is pistil or corpel. It has three parts. Stigma, style and ovary. Female gametes, that is, ovules are produced in the ovary. Let us see the ovules. These are the ovules. Before going to learn the process of fertilization, we must know the structure of ovule. Let us see. At the center of the ovule, there is a sac-like structure called embryo sac. In the embryo sac, there are seven cells arranged in three groups. They are antipodal cells, secondary nucleus, egg shell and synergids. Embryo sac surrounded by two integuments, inner integument and outer integument. These two integuments leave a small pore called micropyle. Let us observe the process of fertilization. Due to pollination, pollen grains reached the stigma of the pistil. Already ovules are produced in the ovary of the pistil. Then how can they fuse each other? Let us see. Pollen grains germinate to form pollen tubes. These tubes grow through style and reach the ovules present in the ovary. Let us observe fertilization process in plants clearly. Male nucleus travels through pollen tube. Before going to reach the ovule, male nucleus divided into two. One male nucleus fuses with egg cells to form zygote. This is the first fertilization. Then the another male nucleus fuses with the secondary nucleus to form endospermal nucleus. This is second fertilization. Likewise, double fertilization occurs in the plants. Once again observe double fertilization process in plants. After fertilization, ovary converted into fruit while ovules converted into seeds. Likewise, fruits are developed from flowers due to the process of pollination and fertilization. Okay children, study well, grow well, be a good citizen. And proud to be an Indian. Thank you.